online today. Please note you've been placed in a queue. Your call is important to us, so we say. But not so important, we'll actually put you through. So press 1 if your query relates to a bill. Press 2 if you're seeking a loan. Press 3 if you're gradually losing the will. Press 4 if you'd love us to pick up the phone. Press 5 to hear the options again. Much less a confrontation. 
assistant didn't see me, she was too busy texting, which I found quite vexing. I may not have been prompted to the shop to buy a scratch card or two, so I thought I'd take a walk to stop myself from griping when I stepped in something. And it was something that I didn't really want to be on my shoe. Takes all sorts. And who am I 
to disagree. But do they really have to vote? The same damn boss as me. No, don't talk to the driver of the vehicle is in motion. And don't talk to the passengers cause you really don't want to know them. And don't talk to the driver of the vehicle is in motion. And don't talk to the passengers cause you really don't want to know them. To the driver while the vehicle is in motion. Don't talk to the passengers cause you really don't want to know them. <laughs> this is a brand new song. Uh, I usually say that before we play brand new songs because it's my get out clause when I get all the words wrong and or the chords. This is called E for Effort and it's going to be on our forthcoming album that we're in the process of recording that may or may not be called How to Alienate Your Fan Base Part 7. to be 
what you believe is only so much you can achieve. You better start living realistically. So I said, fine, when I grow up, I want to be a secret agent. Like Ilya Kuryakin or James Bond. I'll be a top international spy. I'd always get the bad guy. I'd sleep with all the ladies that I want. But the primary school careers advisor said, son, you better listen to me. Despite what you believe, there's only so much you can achieve. You better start living realistically. Choose your own misadventure. 
<laughs> I told you I would forget about doing this bit, but I haven't forgotten, I've remembered. So, um, that, uh, that song is called, uh, what is it called? Delete is appropriate, I think. Yeah. Um, but it's off our album, which is called Choose Your Own Misadventure. And we got a bunch of copies of it uh, for sale, but because we're fed up with the damn thing, uh, you can have it half price. So normally it's a tenner, but we're selling it for a five if you want to catch up with us afterwards and buy a copy of that. Uh, we've also got uh, another EP, which is newer and arguably better, uh, which is also five quid, um, or two for a tenner. So uh, come and grab us afterwards if you want to hear those things in your car on the way home. Free stickers. Oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> How'd you do that? I thought you locked in tank buses and you want free stickers. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it's hard to work out, it's hard, you know, it's hard to get the measure of an audience, really. <laughs> is a song that I wrote by stealing other people's lyrics. Uh, basically, I couldn't be bothered to write lyrics to this song, so I just sort of cut and pasted a load of other people's lyrics from songs that you may or may not recognise. Hopefully you do. If you recognise them, uh, write it down. Uh, <laughs> you can do what you like with a bit of paper and writing. I mean, obviously I know where they're from, but you might want to write it down. Keep scores. Keep scores. The one with the highest score at the end gets a free sticker. <laughs> you love those stickers, don't you? Quite severe swear words in it. So, 
Um, uh, well, I'll do the child-friendly version. See if you can spot where the uh, less child-friendly words might have been.
It's not the answer unless you're in a quiz. And they ask you what an anagram of nice bowl is. Watch out for me in shower gel, cause boy that stuff is strong. Based on dodgy advice from this song Okay. 
what we're going to do is we're going to play the next song for you and then we're going to go, uh, that's the last song and then you'll all go, oh no, please do another one or something like that and then we'll go, oh, all right then. and then we'll do another song so just so we're all on the same page with it uh, because sometimes we've said, oh this is the last song and then there's been a stony silence and we've gone home and cried ourselves to sleep so just... <laughs> Uh, so, uh, yeah, just so we all know what's going on. Uh, this is our last song. Oh. Uh, just don't say ah. Oh. That was a well placed start it was, it was nice though. It gave me a little ooh, tingle next one. So this is uh, ordinary. I'd say this is a song dedicated to anyone who's ever tried to learn a musical instrument. But I reckon most of you have at least tried to learn a musical instrument. Am I right? Yes. Is there anyone here who's never tried to learn a musical instrument? Just out of interest. You. No, no, I'm, 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 no, no, I have tried. Theory, did you just put your hand up? You've never tried. <laughs> Didn't you run one of the workshops in there? <laughs> Good, so uh, we've got somebody who's never tried to learn a musical instrument and a liar. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this song is also dedicated to anybody. Uh, now, I'm going to take a punt here. What do you reckon? Do you reckon we're... Do you reckon we're... 50-50. Uh, it's 50-50. So, uh, this song is dedicated to anybody by the name of Kenneth. Have we got anyone called Kenneth? No. There never is. It's uncanny. We've played to very big audiences and there's never anyone called Kenneth. Um, this song is called Kenneth, so it's dedicated to anyone that wishes they had that name. And we all do it away, don't we? It goes like this. Kenneth bought a ukulele Kenneth liked to play it daily Kenneth liked to play it nightly Ken's wife smashed it, and quite rightly Well, that's just the way it goes Should have seen it coming, I suppose Well, that's just the way it goes should have seen it coming, I suppose. Kenneth thought he'd learn the kazoo. Quite a foolish thing to do. His wife reacted like he thinks she would do. Now Kenneth's got a smash kazoo too. Well, that's just the way it goes. Should have seen it coming, I suppose. Let's try. Well, that's just the way it goes. See you coming, I suppose. My one regret, the hedgehog said. My one regret, the hedgehog said, is purchasing this water bed.
the last time we had an audience that keen for free stickers, there was all those kids at the campsite, do you remember? Yeah. Lots and lots and lots of small children. I don't think I managed to censor the, uh, the Blue Whale song correctly that night, um, So, this is going to be our last song. Uh, thank you ever so much for having us. Thank you to the wonderful organisers of this amazing event. It's good, isn't it? It's been great! And thank you to the sound man and all the people that were working on the bars and the door people and the security people that told us to get off the balcony when we were up there earlier. And all of the people here who are wonderful. Um, this is uh, essentially a tongue twister. I thought it'd be funny. I thought it'd be funny to write a song that's basically a tongue twister, and then I realised that the only people that are ever going to be able to perform it is just me and him. Uh, so I'd like to apologise to Aaron for ever writing this song. Maybe someone will cover it one day. We'll see. Maybe, maybe there's a challenge for somebody. This is called Jamie's Tongue Twister. This is our last actual last song. I'm conflicted. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's hard, this, isn't it? Um, this is called James Tungsworth. It goes like this: Lady Gaga sitting on a train, dressed in a ballerina outfit again, eating her lunch when she was heard to complain, "Oh no, I've spilled my couscous." <laughs> it was a Gaga faux pas sitting on a choo-choo, dressed in a tutu, couscous, boo boo. A Gaga faux pas sitting on a choo-choo, dressed in a tutu. There's an all night takeaway near me, they got a table tennis table and karaoke, thought I'd give it a go, so I did some Jay-Z, I was wearing my favourite beach shoes, there was a hip-hop sing-song dressed in my flip-flops down at the non-stop ping-pong chip shop, hip-hop sing-song dressed in my flip-flops down at the non-stop ping-pong chip shop.